Sacha Kahol was started four years ago. Basically, it uh, was uh, created to uh, find a solution for Haredi guys who wanted to go to the army, but they also wanted to study some techno technological skill. So they created this program that gives them both the courses and uh, during their uh, service they work in uh, either electronics or uh, software programming or anything in that uh, field. Now I understand that the, the whole program is really uh, has been designed that it fits the, the way of life of a Haredi person. Exactly, yeah. Uh, what's very important about this program is that uh, we always uh, we always focused on both uh, balancing the army lifestyle but and keeping the Haredi background if it means like having a, uh, a Torah studying and time uh, we give time to pray three times a day and um, we make sure that the food there is uh, kosher mahadrin and but both uh, the, the soldiers know that the balance, the balance is always between the army and the Haredi lifestyle and it's working uh, Baruch Hashem very well for these four years. Now how is this uh, program considered in the Haredi world? I believe in the beginning it must have been hard to digest. Uh, that's true, in the beginning it was very, uh, people were looking at me personally in a very interesting way. They couldn't accept the fact that, I'm, that I wear a black yarmulke and still walking around with uniform. But in the past two years, it's becoming much, uh, much more uh, uh, acceptable in the Haredi circles. And uh, when you have, only from the Air Force, you have 700 uh, Haredi walking around with Air Force uniforms around uh, the Haredi population in Israel, people are understanding that this is something that's already uh, in the mainstream. Now, on the more ideological level, do you feel it's important that people, more people uh, contribute through the army? Of course, uh, I always believe in the fact that uh, you should, you always have to strive to do both things, both get a skill and do it through the army, because uh, let's not forget the army needs uh, more manpower, and especially the guys who are in yeshiva and have uh, these uh, learning skills could use it towards the technological fields in the army. Now here you are today, a special day with the families. Uh, that's also part of the idea to bring together also the families. Of course, first of all, we think it's very important to have. Uh, both uh, also the regular army, uh, the, the regular work in the army and some interesting events and what's more important is that the f we have support from the families themselves because they know that the struggle for the, the soldiers every day we need the support of the family so we try arranging events for the, for the families to make sure that they're supporting the, 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 the soldiers in the army and it's also a good opportunity for them to tell their friends and neighbors and make sure that we get more and more people in this, uh, the circle of uh, the Shachar Kahol. Now today, uh, during days when there's like a campaign, that all Haredim must be drafted to the IDF. Do you feel that it's possible to force uh, Haredim to, uh, to recruit to the IDF or does it have to be through pro projects like this? I feel that, uh, that it's important to do it in a, in a soft way, in the way that it has been done till today. Uh, the army offers a lot of benefits for the Haredi soldiers and just to force them, I don't know if it's going to cause such a good reaction. I think that uh, it's, it's proven that if you have 2,000 soldiers every year in the different army programs, so that's, that's the best way to do it, by uh, motivation, not by force.